Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Today we are mining dirt. Yes, I I mined a lot of dirt. Oh, we have a couple new mods today. Oh, you annoying little sheep. We have a couple new mods today. We have a journey map, and we have a light level mod installed. And that's about it. That those are I think those are all the mods we installed. Right. Yeah, I think so. No, we also added a farming mod where we can... I don't think it has any new crops, but I know for a fact that it just makes farming easier by the fact that I can now right-click instead of having a punch all the week. But yeah, we. I just was like, let's record something. I'm bored and I want to talk to people. <laughs> Not that anyone ever talks back anyway. But no, here we are, we're just kind of recording some modded Minecraft. Mining some dirt, as, as usual. Probably gonna use the same thumbnail as last time, if I remember to add that thumbnail. If not, it's <clears throat> and the new modded Minecraft series will be the only one modded Minecraft with thumbnails! Hmm. As soon as I finish mining out this entire thing, which actually this will give me a timer to tell me, let me know how, how long this takes with iron shovels. Um, but as soon as we finish up this mining the entire thing to stone, or just run out of shovels, then we'll be heading back. And I can show you the progress on the, um, the farm. Pretty, pretty simple. I found a couple villages, actually. So I have a decent food stash now. Of bread. <laughs> uh, I told you guys, bread's my thing. I'm always gonna stick to bread. Oh, there goes another shovel. Oh, there goes a the pickaxe. But I thought I'd show you guys what I've been up to for the past. Mm, three hours. <laughs> three, four hours. Oh, there goes my shovel. I got through so many iron shovels. I also need to go mining again soon. Because I need more cobblestone. I always need more cobblestone. What am I saying? That's quite a lot of dirt. Once that backpack builds up, we're going back. I don't have enough room in the other backpack to put even more stuff, so. That completely gets rid of that hole there either. Well, not completely, just on this level. Yeah. Hmm. Is being banned or high pixel fun? No. No, it is not. Uh, have, how long have I played Hypixel? I have no clue. Uh, I think 2016, but you can, uh, find that out yourself. I'm, I don't remember how long it's been. Uh, I got banned off Hypixel, though, and it sucks. However, I stopped playing Hypixel for a long time and just kind of did my own thing on other servers. After being bored of Hypixel, and then I got in back interested in part part the Hypixel because I started getting interested in doing more parkours and other things like that. Hmm. 
in parkours, uh, PvP, and something else I can't remember. But yeah. Okay, so an iron shovel can mine two stacks and 61 blocks. Also, guys, don't worry, I have more shovels. I, I have a lot. Not a lot more shovels, but I have some more shovels, so all is well. I have four more shovels. Well, they aren't as fast. They're still shovels, and they're faster than your fist. Unlike a wooden one, which is the same speed as your fist, practically. So a stone shovel can get you... About a stack. Two stacks. We'll test it right now. Ooh, we got another picture of stone. It's always cool. And a stone shovel can get you a stack and two to three. So not as good as an iron shovel, but still really good, surprisingly, for a stone shovel. Look at this wonderful picture we're painting out of, well, stone, grass, and uh, granite and anthracite. <laughs> so now, it's right over here. We grab our horse, which, oh, yeah, I don't remember if I did this on camera or not. I raided um, a sand temple, a couple villages. And I refound my old, uh, yeah, there's one of the villagers. Okay. And I refound my old, uh, my old horse. I want this one on. Well, glad I brought my hammer. Go up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh crap, oh crap. Get the horse out, get the horse out. <laughs> horse, let me out. Oh my god, I'm gonna die from suffocation just trying to heal. The second I get, oh, I just duplicated my water bucket. No, I didn't. Can I please stop falling in ravines? Oh, dude. I I wish I'd stop falling in ravines. Oh, if I'm fast. I don't take any damage at all. Oh, except when I get stuff like this. Okay. I think I need to break. Hey, you dumb 
forced. Oh my god. Like you're really starting to get on my nerves. Oh, and of course it's during nighttime. No. Which is right here. All the way back to our base. Because I am sick of traveling through this terrain. like three times now. I I don't know why I can't do all these ravines and caves that I knew were there. I don't I'm so confused guys. Why do I keep doing this now that I'm on camera? I, I knew they were far from this direction. I can't actually physically see the thing but if I do this I can see it. If I do this, I can see it, but because of shaders, you can't actually see it because it's too bright. The closer you get to it, the more orange it becomes. Just the color it's supposed to be. Oh, tree. And now we just kind of put our horse into its to stable. Which is right behind the stairs. And now is uh, the fun part. Oh, yeah, we had to torch that entire area. So here's what we've been doing, guys, off camera. This is the only thing we've done. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I think before I actually put the fences on this block. And not that block. And that block didn't actually exist. Exist and I did it out of dirt as the room. I think that's what I did last time. I'm just not doing it this time. And this time I did it differently. Which is good because we're in two separate uh, hardcore worlds now, so. You gotta be different while keeping the same strats. Now. Oh, I got him sitting in! We did all of that, and at least we got obsidian while doing it. Well, I should probably actually get this there definitely, def, 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 def. fill up so that way we can heal faster if worse comes to worse. And now we start. So, if you guys didn't know, mobs like spawning when you, uh, put giant islands like this. And I'm assuming if you're watching this Minecraft video, you know that because, ooh, scary. Because giant islands like this, like what I'm doing, bring a lot of darkness on the land below them. Allowing mobs to spawn at any point in time during the day during the day. Which is why there's just a bunch of torches back there and strategically placed manners, which by the way, mobs cannot physically spawn under there anymore. It's not possible for them to spawn under there. I double checked it. Well there are some spots they can probably spawn under there, possibly if I missed some, but not every day. Not at, uh, in the middle of the day like that, like they could before. Because it was just, there was enchanted gear mobs everywhere under there before. And I was getting real concerned at how I was going to clean it all up. 
I should be more careful because this is how I died in the last hardcore. What the? No, oh, yeah. Totally keep. I just keep forgetting I have those. I keep forgetting I have wind turbines and energy and everything else. Oh my. I need to remember that I have those. Keep looking up and going, what are those? Those aren't in Minecraft. What mod do I have that brings those in? Oh yeah, mechanism. I never used this mod before, which is why I, I keep forgetting those exist. I'm sorry. I'm just really mad at myself for constantly forgetting those exist. I also want to know why I keep doing the same thing that killed me last uh see last attempt. I don't know why I keep speedrunning. I, I keep doing it. It killed me last time. Yet here I am, continuing speedridge. I physically died last season due to speedridging. So I don't... Why do I keep doing it? Why do I think this is a good idea? Mobs just constantly spawned in formation like that, except they were enchanted. There are baby mobs, there are adult mobs, like baby skeletons, and there's a baby creeper at one point, I think. <coughs> and it was just horrible. I did not like it one bit. Oh no, my dirt! <coughs> yes, I just jumped down for dirt. I ruined the placement of that torch, now I gotta fix it later. But yes, I just jumped down for dirt. Don't judge. Dirt is a very valuable resource in this Minecraft world. I don't know what it's called, and I'll probably cut this part out anyway, so. I know what it's called, I just can't think of a dumb word right now. <sighs> Call this work for a farm. You chickens just kind of chill up here, please. Oh, I'm going to get the achievement! Yeah, the carrots and the bats! I did just kind of realize this literally. Yeah, no, not a good idea. Um, where's this? Now they can walk wherever they want. I'm just gonna have to put this over here for right now <laughs> until I get the uh, animal pen set up. They're extremely large animal pens, which they aren't staying very large. Like they're being cut in half. So, they will be short, but, I mean, unless you count building as something interesting, which I'm not a very good builder, so, um, if, if you count my, my horrible building as interesting, uh, thank you, I guess? Say, there is no way I'm out of dirt, I have Guys, look who finally came to visit us! Guys, look who finally came to visit us! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes! Yeah. You are absolute crap as normal! Yeah. There you go. Oh! That actually nearly knocked me down. I need you to come here. Thank you. Okay, I just want you to, I just want to push you down. I just want to push you down. That's all. See, you guys didn't die. And I got your leads. I don't know what that experience came from. Oh, that was an experience. I also just realized they probably 100% could just... Oh! Okay, I should probably kill you. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Here we go. 
from those up. Uh, we finally got a wandering traitor though, so that's cool. I'm gonna leave him to do his own thing. He can just fly. I don't really care. I'm just glad we finally got a wandering traitor. Oh my, I was wondering when we were gonna get one. Hopefully more spawn. We seem to spawn up here, which tells me it's because there's a lot of flat land. So I think these guys spawn when there's flat land. So I'm pretty sure if I left this also, if I left this um going at turn nighttime, I'm pretty sure I could poss possibly, and this is theoretically, get slime, but I'm pretty sure that only really happens in swamp files, I think. Then again, how do they spawn in caves? Every now and again. Baby slime specifically spawn in caves. I don't know. I don't know how slime spawn in caves. Um, probably here, huh? But I might have Google how Wandering Traders spawn, so that way I can get a big thing for Wandering Traders to spawn. So that way I can kill them, or just drop... Mm. So that way I can kill their llamas, and let them despawn. But they normally don't have the best trades. I have potatoes and carrots though this time, so this... I have all four crops I need this time. Unlike last time where I couldn't even find a flippity flappin' in vanilla Plains Village. So, yay. There's a lot of noise going on. But I think I'm going to finish up this little square and that will be it for today's video. If this is just a filler. It's a filler episode. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode, everyone. Enjoy my half-dead shield and my half-dead axe. This axe has one durability on it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!